Hey, can you, uh, how was the rest of your day yesterday? Very normal. Normal again? <laughs> Did you read a book, watch a movie, go out to the supermarket? Anything else? Anything considered normal? <laughs> well, I do go... What? Play with my friend and I'm going shopping. Okay. And, read a book. and you read a book. Okay, so you played with your friend, you went shopping, and you read a book. That's great. That doesn't sound like normal. <laughs> It sounds like fun. What book did you read? Well, I kind of like read a book. It's free. It's half English and it's half Vietnamese. Really? And the book called is Be Kind. Be Kind? But, but in there, they have... So many stories. Okay, so is it different stories of how to be kind? Different s situations and. Well, it's not like in the past. Mm hmm. Okay, so it's past stories. Yes? Okay, great. This sounds like a really cool book that it, I. I I find it very interesting that it's both, that it's half Vietnamese and half English. That's very cool. Do you read lots of books in English or most of them in Vietnamese? Well, most of them in Vietnamese. And I read a lot of things in English. Okay, great. Do you go to the library now? Yes. Okay, do you enjoy choosing books and reading them? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's great. All right, okay, so today I thought we would begin with a little bit of a guessing game, all right? It's called Guess the Picture. So what happens is it plays, it shows a piece of the picture, but a very, it's a not, okay, it's, it's, it shows the picture, but we have to try and guess the object from what we can see. So you get five points if you can guess it the first time. If you need more time, it will zoom out on the picture, then you get four points. And if you need more, it will zoom out on the picture and you'll get three points and then two and one. So it's just very relaxed. Don't worry. I'll keep track of your points, but don't worry if you don't get it all. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Just give me one moment. I'm going to load it. Yes, I can. You can see? Okay, great. All right. Let me open it and we'll begin. Come on, it's loading, loading, loading. <laughs> okay. All right, so here is picture number one. Do you think you want to guess what it is? It looks like it's kind of furry. It's a furry, so it's probably an animal. Yeah. Yeah. Do you maybe... Could you repeat that, please? Is it a bear? I don't know. Let's have a look. Okay, let's let's wait till it's out of as it zooms out.
Okay, here we go. The points have changed and they've zoomed it out a little bit more. What do you think now? Still a bear? It's still kind of a uh, bear, but it's kind of... It's bits like a CD. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Okay, that's three points. Would you like me to zoom out more? Or do you want to keep your guess as a bear? Maybe it's a rock. Okay. <laughs> oh. Alright, now it's two points. It's a cat. It's a cat! Alright, let's see. Alright. Okay, picture two. Okay, for five points, do you think you know what this is? Is it a glasses? I don't know. But I will remember your guess at five points. Let's see. Do you know guess at three points or would you like to see more? Uh, I, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> it looks a little weird. Let's look let's have a good look at it then. Let's let it zoom out. <laughs> Do you know perhaps? Do you now know? Is it a window? I mean, like a small little window beside the car door? Yeah, I think it could be. That's a very good description. Um, I, But I'm not sure, actually, myself. Let's see. Oh, I see. What do you think it is? It's a watch. It's a watch. It's a smart watch. So you still get one point. <laughs> well done. Okay, what do you think this is? Is it a banana peel? All right, I'll write down your guess at five points. Do you still think it's a banana peel? Maybe it's a snake. Oh, it could be either. It is a banana. A yeah, so I will write down your guess on five points because you got it right. You guessed at five points. Well done. <laughs> Do you think you know what this is? A mattress? A mattress? Is that what you said? Yes. Okay, I will keep that in mind. At five points, you said it is a mattress. Let's... All right, at three points, and the picture is zoomed out a little bit. What do you think it is now? 
feel more like a mattress. Okay. All right, at two points, do you still agree with mattress? Mm, yes. Okay. And how about now? Still look like a mattress. <laughs> okay. What is it? Huh. It's a pencil. It's a pencil. Good. <coughs> <coughs> okay, this looks sticky. <laughs> what do you think this could be? This could be a cinnamon roll. Yeah. Buns. Okay. Well, maybe. All right. Let's have a look and see what we could, what more we could see. Any other guesses now? Cake. It looks like some kind of cake. Yes. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. And now, still sticking with your with your guess as cake. Well, yes. Okay. Good. I think you're on the right track. Ah. I think it is a cake. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a cake with some chocolate sauce on it. But still not look at the appetizing. <laughs> appetizing? It doesn't look appetizing? No. So I will give you four points because I think you guessed it correct at four points. So well done. You don't like cake? No, because it looks like someone took a very dirty sponge and Put chocolate on it. <laughs> okay, I see. All right, let's continue. Oh, okay, what do you think this could be? A leaf. A leaf? Okay. Any guesses now at four points? Still like a leaf. A leaf? Okay. You still you still think it's a leaf? Nah, maybe it's wood. Wood? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, I didn't see that one. A turtle. A turtle. I'll give you one point, though. <laughs> well done. Do you know what this is? This is easy. It's <laughs> corn. It's corn. I agree with you. It is easy. All right. I'll just see if we can go. Yeah, corn. Last picture. Oh my goodness. 
What do you think it is? It's a board. A board. I think it's a board of some kind too. And now? It's more like a ball. A ball, yeah. 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 Well done. So at three points, you guessed it was a ball. I am so sorry. Well done. Great job. All right. I will... Total your points up for you. All right. Okay, let's get back into doing some work. Well done. Though, hold on. All right, great job. Sorry, there was something in my eye. Okay, well done. I think you scored okay. I will tally up your points in a moment. Let's continue. So, I see you've done the homework. Thank you very much. Um, there were some wordings that you might have missed in it, but you did a good try. Well done. Um, let's just review some of the... Um, okay, unit four. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's review some of what... We learned yesterday, which was the structure of making plans, okay? Um, oh. The structure of making plans. So this was what the homework was. It was to do A and B as in a conversation. To see what... For A to ask what a, B was doing. So yes, you did that. Alright, it's just an example of the questions... Um, are you still there? All right, but this is just an example of some of the questions over here, which is, are you free tomorrow? Shall we go to the park? So this is two questions, but I think you could use it as one. Yeah, in one. And then let's have a picnic. Good idea. I'm afraid I can't. So we have a question and a suggestion, um, and then we have yeah the suggestion, and then we have a reply, which is yes or no, which is in the structure. We ask about plans, make a suggestion, we agree or disagree. All right, great. But I think you have the idea of the structure correct. Just be be mindful of some of your wordings and what you might miss. Um, I see you use the word play volleyball. I think in that way you can just say how about volleyball or a game of volleyball. Oh. Yeah. Or perhaps or a game of volleyball or just volleyball. Sometimes the words can stand on its own. But well done. Okay, so we had lit just two pages left. Okay, just two pages left. So um it's just to review using the word can for requests okay so read the learn box in the learn box it says can for request you can use can you to make a request a request okay we often add please at the end can you change the music please okay so we use can you for requests um, and do you know about the May? I'm sure um, we will probably do it. So most often people get the phrases can you or may I. The, those two mixed around. You use may I for permission. May I go to the bathroom? May I go to the store? Or may my friend come over? Yes or no? So that is more for permission. 
as a summary and then I'm just summarizing and then can you is more for requests do you understand that mm, yes okay so it just says can you find um, the phrase can you in these invitations perhaps can you see them okay yes all right in which text do you see the phrase can you is the phrase a in a okay can you for to can you for to this email to isla. isla please yes well done and then any other do you think there do you see any in phrase B, in invitation B? Is, can you bring some food for the bar? For example, some burgers or sausages. Great job! And in C, do you see any of them? Do you see an example? Is, can you bring your rocky horror show all Can right you please great so that is the structure of an invitation so the next thing oh that is just making a request so they oh, hold on we learned in the groupings that some can be like a heading which means it's telling you what it belongs to so group um Group A in A, E, and G is basically an opening. I'm having a party or I'm planning a party. It's my party, which is an opening or this begin like a starting. Then in group two, which was B, D, and I, it's kind of like towards the end where you say, I hope you can make it. I'm um, Don't miss it or um, I hope you can come. And then in group uh, three, we had C, F, and I. Now, it is an invitation. So in an invitation, you have to ask people in some way, please reply via some, um, perhaps email or text message. Or can you text your reply, which is F. And then L, which is please let me know. So it is an invitation. So when it, it's an invitation, you people, you kind of have to ask for a response. Okay. Which is, will you be attending? Yes or no? Because it's an invitation. It's not making a suggestion like previously. Do you understand? Mm, yes. Okay. So in a suggestion, it was um, asking about plans, make a... Uh, I'm sorry, about in arranging plans. It was asking about plans, making a suggestion, and then you either agree or you decline the suggestion. And then in, in an invitation is you tell, you say what you're having. I'm having a party or come to my party or it's my birthday next week. And then you have almost like towards the end after you give the details so it's the opening, then details. It's on Friday at 2 o'clock, indoors. And then um, then it's hope you can come, which is like that phrase. And then uh, group three is the, um, I'm sorry, request as in you have to ask them for a response, asking for a response to let them know if they will be attending or not. Okay, and then group four. Group four was the ending, which is bye for now. <laughs> like K-H-H -H is best wishes, bye for now, and love, which is the closing. But you can also make a request as we see here. Uh, there's some requests in these invitations. So um, can you bring some food or can you forward this email? Can you bring your Rakihara before the ending? 
Do you see that? All right. Okay. And then this is what I was speaking, was talking about. It's my birthday and opening. I'm planning a party. And then all of this, all of this would be the details, details, details at 8 p.m. And then it's at my cousin's house, which is more details. And then this is details. We're having a barbecue at 8 p.m. And then there's the phrase, don't miss it. Do you see that? Don't miss it. And then yeah. a request. Okay. So I think you understand, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. So that will be, unfortunately, homework. But don't worry. I will send you this activity. It's very, very, very simple it's imagine you're organizing a party to celebrate the end of school exam make notes say why you're having the party give the time and date of the party include information about the place or address and include a request so don't worry i would i'm going to ask you to do that for homework but we don't have to do it immediately we have some time so take your time with it and think about it and don't, I just don't want you to rush it when you do it, okay? And now, okay, we have a little bit of a review of Unit 4. So, because we've concluded Unit 4. So, after you've done the invitation, we've done with Unit 4. So, now we have a review. Are you ready to review some of what we've learned? All right, so most of it, I'm going to guide you through it, but most of it is all you, okay? So I don't know if you perhaps already did this review, Unit 3, with your previous teacher, perhaps? Have you done this? No. No? Okay, let's do it, try it. I think it will take only in a few minutes. So you can tell me the correct forms of these sentences if you want to. Um, I think typing... Might take a little long, but if you feel comfortable typing, you could do that too. Number one is put the words in correct order to make sentences. Tick the sentences that are true for f true for you. So these are all facts, I think. So what is the correct structure to sentence number one? Is I'm not very keen on physics. Great job. Okay. And then it's true. it's true. You're not very keen on physics. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Number two. I really like geography. I really like geography. Well done. All right. Number three. Do you, is that true or no? About yourself. Uh, it's true. It's true. That's great. All right. Number three. I can stand biology. <laughs> well done. True or not true? True. <laughs> okay, and number four, PE? PE is quite easy. Great. True or not also true? Also true. Okay. Five, number five. I quite like art and design. Also true. Also true. Well done. Okay, um, all right, and B, would you do, um, B for me? It says, watch, match one to five, I'm sorry, I'm just writing this down for, okay, it says, match one to five with A and E to make parts of a school. Okay, what would, what, what match? Number one. As number one is science, it's match to C, lab. C. Yes, all right, number two. Number two is playing, so it's match to A is field. Field, playing field, great job. Number three. Is number three is head teachers, and it's match to E, office. Great, and number four. Number four is music. It's matched to B room. B room. Well done. Okay, and 
Number five. Yes, sorry. Number five. It's much to D toilets. D toilets. Boys toilets. Well done. Yes, you got them correct. All right, and now it says complete the sentences with some, any, or a. All right, you can begin. There isn't any supermarket in this village. All right. And two is, do you know any good restaurants? Number three is, there aren't any curtains in the living room. All right. Number four is, do you need a lamp in your bedroom? Great. Number, Number five. five is there are there are there are a shelves in shelves next to the bed. All right. Okay, and let's try number four before we do the answers. Uh, complete the dialogue. Use the correct form of have to. It could be affirmative, negative, or interrogative, which is question form. All right, you can begin. It's Avi. My brother is at music school. He has to practice the piano four hours a day. Grace, wow, that's a lot, Avi. I know, and we have to listen it, listen to it. Grace, mm. is is he? All right. Okay. Uh, is he also study other subjects too, or just music? Okay. Avi, other musics have to study in two foreign language. Language. All right. Grace, that's difficult. Avi, not really. They have to speak. The languages fluently. Just read and understand them. All right. Great job. So, the first one, there isn't a supermarket in this village. Okay. All right. And then, do you know any? Which was correct. There aren't any. Oh, I think it's any. Any, any. Okay. A is a lamp and five was some so that was wrong okay and then this one has to you did say have to but it was actually has to all right just note of that okay um and then the second one is have to which is correct which is you said it correct and then this one was does he have to so this was the interrogative form of have to normally does or do is is um put put place in the first part of the sentence which is the question which makes the sentence a question and then have to um and you did say is also so just make note of the interrogative form so the question that is the structure okay and then number four is have to you got that one correct and number five is don't have to okay so don't have to which is the negative do you hmm, see okay all right. all right great all right and number five complete the directions with the words below um along left on through and up okay Okay. All right, you can proceed. Number one is go along the corridor. All right, along. Is go through the doors. 
go through the doors. Yes. Next. What do you think next? It's on the right. Great. All right. Number four. And four is go up the stairs. Up. Yes. And five is turn left at the end. And five is turn left. Yes. All right, let's check. So you see one along through. Oh, there was through. So go through. Because there was. Did you say through for doors? Yeah. Oh, well done. <laughs> I don't think I wrote it down. Go through. Along, through, go through the doors. It's on, up, and left. Well done. Five out of five. So your total mark for this section review is... Okay, let me type it in. It's, it's 20. Well done. Great job. You got 20 out of 25. All right, and unit four... Um, yeah, I think we can do a few sections and then we'll continue the review. Some uh, next lesson. Don't worry. It's I it's not a serious, serious, serious test. I just have to check if you've understood if you've understood most of the things. All right. Great. Number six. Number six. Complete the course word. Number one is she's wearing leggings. In a t shirt. Cheers, do you like my new trap? Trap. Um, do you like my new track? Hmm. Is do you like my new track? Things. Okay. <laughs> All right, and number three. Is that a sweater or a sweatshirt? Sweatshirt. All right, and then number four. I don't really like. I don't really like that cardigan. All right, cardigan. Five is he wearing a. Jacket and a tie to work. Jacket. All right. Let's do number seven before we check the answers. Complete the message with what the... a weird. Yes. Oh. Yes. Continue. It's what a weird. Where it is. The the venue is an an old school. Okay. The bride and uh, and the groom are wearing school uniform. All the <laughs> guests are wearing the same. After the ceremony, there's a big reception. Yes. <laughs> in the scene with a food and drink. All right. So t-shirt was correct. Oh, it was a tracksuit. Oh. <laughs> so close. Tracksuit is a matching top and a and pants with the same material, okay, as well. All right. Sweatshirt, yes. Cardigan, yes. And jacket. All right. And then the answers, you got all of these correct. Well done. It's five out of five. All right. All right, let's see how quickly we can do 9 and 10. 8 and 9, sorry, and then we can complete. All right, would you start with number 8 for me? Um, look at the chart, write questions. Oh, okay, it's write questions. And short answers about me and Tom. Use the present continuous. Okay, I don't think we'll have that much time for that. Let's do right now. In our next lesson, I think we can complete this check. Okay, and then number nine. Would you do number nine for me? It says, 
Um, hold on. It says, complete the email, use the present simple or present continuous form of the verbs in brackets. All right, you can begin. Um, routing. Routing, okay. No, I'm wrote. I'm wrote. This, this email on my parents' laptop. Okay. They don't know. All right. They have lunch in the kitchen. Because. Well, maybe they have lunch in the kitchen at the yeah. moment. In. Okay. Beautiful book. I am wearing them every day, but I don't wear them now. Of course, I can take this glove off. <laughs> okay, great. Let's check. I think they'll give us the answers for nine. Ah! Alright, I'll check your answers, but well done. Thank you very much. This is all for now. I think we will complete it in the next lesson. So don't worry, it's very relaxed. And like I said, I just have to see where you are at with before we move to the next unit. But I hope you have a lovely day further. And I'll see you next time. Thank you, Belle. Goodbye. Goodbye.